Okay, so this is my first video in my new house. No, this is not the studio setup. This is my game room right here. And you guys are probably hearing a bit of an echo right now. You know, I finally got some stuff in, but it's still quite barren here. I'm not done with the other studio, but I have just been itching to make a video. So anyways, that's why we're here. Sorry if the quality or the lighting's a little bit low. Again, hopefully next week or the week after we'll be back in the studio cranking that out. But while I was unpacking, again, first thing was, hey, let's get the game room done. I was just itching for some gaming, you know? So while I was setting up my setup here, I put up my monitors and I've done polls before in the community tab talking about 1440p or 1080p and then as far as Hertz right in there. And when we go to the community tab and look at it, you can actually see right here that I did one poll about what Hertz, how many Hertz is your monitor running right here? And you can see with 47,000 votes, 144 Hertz won. The next up was 60 to 75, which is very common again, but 144 took the cake easily right there. And then when we go down a little bit to a neck, the next poll we had here, I talked about 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. And as you can see with 24,000 votes, 1080p took the cake by a long shot, like big time out of 24,000 votes. Again, 77%, 1440p at 14% and then 4K still down there. So again, when we combine all those and look at them, we're talking 144 Hertz and then 1080p is taking a cake. And that's what we're gonna talk about here today. No, this is not gonna be some overly spec filled video. I mean, there's plenty of channels that do all that, you know, scientific testing with stuff like that. I'm gonna go about this as a consumer. I have a 1440p, 144 Hertz, nano IPS, LG, one millisecond, blah, 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 blah monitor right here right both of them 27 inch and then i also have an lg it's a 27 inch as well 1080p 240 hertz had to think about that right so we have both variations right here the 1080p 240 hertz and then the 1440p at 144 hertz both ips and everything both settings are set on the same and again my main game is call of duty by the way i'm playing on an i9 and a 3080 right down below there. So we got a pretty beefy system to be able to push both of these monitors to their full potential. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is the 1440p monitor right here, playing Call of Duty. And by the way, just remember, anytime you watch any videos like this, I'm looking at my monitor here, 1440p, 144 hertz. It's going into my camera, which is capturing at 30, at 4K. Then it's coming out of your monitor or TV or device, whatever that is doing. So again, as far as visuals, take it with a grain of salt, more or less what I'm talking about here. So again, 1440p monitor, 144 hertz right here, IPS, blah, 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 Call of Duty. And we are sitting right now looking out here with the clouds, the trees and everything at 180 which obviously the monitor only does 144. Let's go out here with some of these reflections off the ground. Now we're dropping down. As you can see, we're sitting pretty much steady at uh, 140. Let's go see what happens when we do some shooting. So still, we just pretty much stay right around 140. Drop down to 140 flat, back up to 150. And again, right back up to 170. So now you can cap your frame rate right there to prevent any drops, but we're not getting any tearing right here. You're talking minimal uh, differences, right? So again, we drop down to the high 130s and then up to, I'd say 170. So let's see right here. We got some of the smoke coming out the drain. So again, bouncing 148-ish to 150 right there. So as you can see, as I stated, we're getting full potential out of this monitor. So what I wanna do, we're gonna go in here to the settings and we'll pull up graphics. And this is the great thing about it. Again, i9-3090 uh, down there as well. So I see we've got it set at 144 hertz, uh, 1440p right here. And everything is just about maxed out, as you can see. Ultra, high. I think the only thing I got dropped down is the shadows. Yeah, shadow quality I have at high instead of ultra. Whenever you put the shadow quality to ultra, it, it definitely does take a toll and kind of makes me sit more or less around the 130s, which isn't much, but you know, high to ultra shadows, I don't think it's a big deal. This is the one I want you to really focus on right here. This is massive, uh, the ray tracing. As you can see, I have all of them, the shadows and everything, everything set to ultra. And this makes such a huge difference. You're probably thinking, ah, gimmicky, you know what I mean? But it is massive. Like, again, you probably can't pick this up through camera to camera, but again, we got the puddles right here and then you see slight reflections in the puddles pending right here so you can kind of see a little window reflected in there again probably hard to see through the uh camera and everything but it is so cool as you're walking there's a good one 
There's a good one right there. So you can see the reflection of the building with the raindrops hitting the puddle right there, sitting at 160. Wow, that is awesome. Settings maxed, ray tracing maxed and everything, and we're still getting that performance. Again, cap your frame rate at 140 for whatever you're on right there just to prevent any tearing, but we're not getting anything right there. But that is just like, golly. I mean, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so now I wanna show you the 1080p, 240 hertz LG uh, monitor here again. And again, all the colors are set the same right here, but just straight out the gate, this looks so much worse than the 1440p, just big time. But let's focus on the frames first right here. So as you can see up here, we're staying at around 180, a high 180s, pretty much exactly what we were staying on at 1440p. So right there, it's kinda like, what the heck, we're at 1080p? Why are we staying about the same? So, so number one, let's go into settings here first. As you see, we got a 240, 1080. Um, so as you can see, our settings are set. Everything else is the exact same, and then we'll roll around. But when we get up here, as you can see, we're starting to jump into 200s. Over here on the 1440p, we would never jump to 200s. So as you can see, we still have the ray tracing on and everything like that, and it still looks pretty stinking good. The colors and Everything's not as crisp and as potent, you know what I mean? As far as frame rate, again, it's not like a massive difference, you know what I mean? Because again, we were staying pretty high, pretty comfortable over here, and it still looks good, but where it's really gonna shine, and this is what really threw me off with these guys. Again, I had to really dabble with my settings. So let's go in here, settings, graphics, 240, everything set right there, but let me show you what's gonna make the biggest hit on the 1080p uh, 240 right here. That is the ray tracing. I'm gonna disable ray tracing. Again, over here, we had it on high, max, and we were able to really get the full performance out of the monitor. Let's hit apply. Again, ray tracing disabled, everything else the exact same. Of course, 1080p 240. So let's back out of there. Take a look at our frames right now, 280. We're dancing around high 280s. Let's get around, so 290s, 300. So uh, again, we're kind of, uh, we probably could activate a few more settings, maybe throw on one of the ray tracings. Uh, ray tracing takes a very big hit. So again, now are you seeing a massive, you know, it, it can be an argument all day long. Are you gonna see better at 240 or 300 compared to, uh, you know, 144? Me, it's mild, it is mild. Uh, right there, you know, is it smoother? Yes, but is it like night and day? Is it game-changing? I would say no But again, it still looks great. We're getting awesome frames right there But again, we had to disable the ray tracing. You know what I mean? I mean you still get some of the shadows None of them are as crisp or anything like that. It still looks good. It does look good, but it's not as vibrant It's not as potent Maybe not as immersive is what I'm trying to say Okay, so as we just saw with that test right there, actually it was probably very hard to see, especially for you guys, again, going from screen to screen to device to device right there, right? But as I can tell you, yes, you get the higher frames with 1080p. That's obvious, that's, that's just known, right? Your frame rate's gonna be a little bit lower right there. But talking about with our settings absolutely maxed, at 4040p over here, 144 hertz, ray tracing, top dot and everything. This is absolutely mind blowing, gorgeous. Hands down, it looks amazing. As far as story games or first person shooters right there, it's a blast, it's immersive. Going over here to the 1080p with the higher frames, again, like I stated, is it noticeable from the 144 to the 240? Man, it, it's mild. It is beyond mild. It really is, you know what I mean? It, it's like, you notice the 1440p compared to the 1080p all day long. Mind blowing. It's just gorgeous going 1440p to 1080p. It's mild noticing the 144 to the 240. Now, if you jump up to 360, I haven't used a 360. Will that be more noticeable? Maybe, but as you can see over here, even when we dropped our settings a little bit, we were staying around 300s. So think about, it. that's with an i9 and 3080. So think about if you go to 360, how low are you gonna have to drop your settings? I mean, your game's gonna look like you're playing on a stinking Xbox 360. I'm sorry, but that's not what I wanna do. Also, depending what game you're playing. Are you playing like Counter-Strike, Valorant, or you know, some Minecraft, something like that? You know what I mean? Sure, your frame rate will be higher. Again, Call of Duty's middle of the line right there. It's a little bit demanding, not too much. You get into more story games, Assassin's Creed, Tomb Raider, stuff like that really demanding but that your frame rate's not 
that important there, you might want to stay around like, you know, anything above 60, you're going to enjoy your experience. Anything below 60, it's like, I'm getting nauseous and I'm going to throw up. So again, you do notice a difference. But the one thing I want to talk about here, and I think this is, again, I wanted to go at this more like a shopper, a consumer, right? And, and this is how I go about mine as well. So I'm thinking in my head, it's like, man, is 1440p worth the upgrade compared to 1080p? Because you're talking a significant price difference looking at a 1080p monitor and a 1440p monitor. So right here, we'll just type it straight up in Google. What are they gonna say? Like kind of like those ones where they say, uh, ask a celebrity their question, they pull back the thing. That's what we're gonna do with 1440p here. So right out the gate, what it's saying is a 1440p monitor has 78% more pixels than a 1080p monitor. 78%, I mean, that, that's a drastic amount right there. You know what I mean? So this is what I wanna come down to right here though. A couple people ask, right? When you type something in Google and it says people ask. So people ask, is 1440p worth it over 1080p? In the end, 1440p won't be worth it for every gamer. Competitive gamers are working for, uh, are working with a tighter budget. Why are competitive gamers working with a tighter budget? That's weird right there. Um, they'd probably prefer 1080p 144 hertz monitor. So that's an absolute joke right there. We just got Nola to join us here. I, I don't understand why they say competitive gamers are working on a tighter budget. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So anyways, let's pass that up. I'll answer that for you. Is 1440p worth it over 1080p? In my opinion, 110% all day long. Should I game on 1080p or 1440p would be the other one. So while the game might look might look a little better on 1440p or 4K, players will get a better overall experience by opting for a higher refresh rate than a higher screen resolution. Because of this, for competitive gamers, 1080p is still ideal resolution, resolution to play at. So they come out with a lot of competitive talk. Competitive gamer. What is a competitive gamer? I guess we want to say, are you a competitive gamer? Right? Because you want to win? Am I a competitive gamer? I play at 1440p and I always, not always, 90% of the time I'm in the top three on Call of Duty right there. You know what I mean? So would that make me a competitive gamer? No, I don't care if I lose or win. I like having fun. You know what I mean? So are you talking about a pro? I don't know. That's As far as competitive, it's real weird right there. So um, it's going to look a lot better at 1440p. We can say that. Is 1440p worth the FPS loss? You won't lose that many frames with 1440p, especially not on CSGO. On average, it's something like 20 to 40 might be worth, uh, so yeah, so talking about 20 to 40 frame loss, you look at that from 1080p to 1440. Is it worth it? I say yes all day long. So all in all, at the end of the day, how I would wrap this comparison up if you're shopping for it or upgrading your monitor or something like that, right? The number one thing you're gonna look at is like what we just answered. Is 1440p worth the upgrade, or upgrade over 1080p? Yes, 110% all day long. Like 1440p blows 1080p out of the water all day long. Like when I look at 1080p, it's like, it's like God, I mean, it drives me nuts. Like I just can't do it anymore. I sound like a snob, but I just can't, you know what I mean? But the next most important thing, kind of like what they stated on those Google questions right there is budget. No, I don't think a competitive gamer is on a tighter budget than a casual gamer. That's just, that's, that's crazy right there. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't understand that, but I think budget is a big thing right there. How much do you have to spend? How much do you want to spend? You know what I mean? Cause let's talk about these two monitors here. You can get this 1080p 240 Hertz for roughly right around 300 bucks. When you come over here to the 1440p, uh, 144 Hertz, you're looking more or less up around $500. So right there, is that worth it to you? I think a lot of people are gonna say, man, I'd rather spend 300 bucks, go off buy myself a new keyboard and mouse or something like that. But I'd wanna stop you right there. Like seriously. 1440p will just change your entire game massively. You know what I mean? Like it's it's 2021. We got these high-end GPUs and everything just pushing out this great performance. Why not take advantage of it? Like you're talking like if you want to go 240 or 360 compared to 144, maybe even go, I don't know, 240 pushing this. You might need like a 3090 or something because I don't think you'd be able to push 1440p at 140 or 240 hertz, even with a 3080, you'd probably have to drop your settings a lot. But that's not what I want to do. I don't want my game to look like junk. I want my game to look great and still perform. And that's what I'm getting right here at 1440p, 144 hertz. 
right? You still can perform, right? You still have the great visuals and the price is right in between right there. Like 1080p is, that's the past, man. It really is. Like I use uh, my iMacs, which I believe are 5K. And then for my consoles, I use actually an LG Nano IPS. It's a uh, 40 or 50 inch, 49 inch, 50 inch, whatever. And it's 120 Hertz right there. So again, 1080, it's hard for me. And once you take that step to 4K or 1440p, like we're talking about here, trust me, after you use it for a while, you're not gonna be able to go back to 1080p. You're gonna sound like, I don't wanna sound like a snob. That's not what I wanna do at all. But trust me, once you take that next step to upgrade right there, your resolution, you're just, you're gonna be the same way. You're gonna be like, how was I playing on 1080p? All right, so that's all I really wanted to do right here. Kind of have a little topic talking about this, not really like spec filled and number filled and stuff like that. Again, you can find that many places out there. I just wanted to give it as a basic consumer, how we're shopping for it and give you my honest opinion. So hopefully this was able to help you out a little bit. And again, sorry for my echo and maybe my poor lighting. Hopefully again, within a week or two, I'll be back into full swing and everything will be set up and we'll be rolling steady with some videos right there. But again, I just been itching. I've been driving to get a video out here. You know what I mean? And this one has been on my mind for a long time. So again, I really hope it was able to help you out. If you got any other questions, just ask right down in the comments. Always glad to talk shop right there. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out. If it did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. And I hope we catch you in the next one. Bye now.